Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Jared Powley's Fragrance Reviews. Tonight, we're going to be looking at a mega giant in the history of men's perfumery. This fragrance is known as Guerlain's Habit Rouge, which originally came out in 1965, and it's been reformulated on several occasions. So this is the 2000 and three reformulations. So this is classified as an amber woody scent. And again, this is not the vintage. I have never smelled the vintage and I only know one man who has a bottle of it. Nevertheless, this 2003 edition is an awesome scent. One of my personal favorites. Few fragrances today can match the composition of Guerlain's Habit Rouge. As a whole, the House of Guerlain, in my opinion, may be the most prestigious, the finest fragrance house in the world. I'm going to take this out of the box. So the newer version of this is more of a square bottle. This is rectangular. This is a 100 milliliter bottle. And there are many flankers for a Habit Rouge. I think there's about 10 in all. So there's a great variety, but this is just simply the EDT, the Old Toilette concentration. Give it a spray in the back of my wrist. So initially, you get a very sharp, old school citrus vibe. And this uh, reminds me of the original Versace Pour Home. But pretty quickly, in a few minutes, it smooths out into a little bit more of an orangey citrus instead of that animalic pissy citrus that you get maybe the first 15 20 seconds as this starts to dry down you get a gorgeous mixture of soft rose kind of some sweet white floral vibes it's spicy you still get a nice lemon orange mix but the this very um lovely remarkable remarkable blend and it loses the so-called old school vibe later on I get a smooth vanilla with a soft rose, which is very unique. The citrus starts to fade into the background. It becomes slightly resinous and warm and sexy. As advertised, the top notes are lemon, Brazilian rosewood, orange, bergamot, lime, tangerine, and basil. The mid notes are rose, carnation, sandalwood, cinnamon, patchouli, jasmine, and cedar. And the base notes are vanilla, leather, amber, benzoin, oak moss, and labdanum. The performance on this for me was excellent. Very, very good. I got a push for about four or five hours with great scent wafts, scent trails. It actually had the first two hours. It was a very powerful fragrance, really resonated off my skin. After about eight hours, it still had beautiful, uh, gentle scent wafts. And the next day I could still smell it on my skin, but of course it was not as powerful. It plays very well off the clothes. For some people, depending on your body composition and body temperature, you may have to reapply this. Final thoughts on this. I obviously can't compare this to the vintage 1965 version, but this 2003, if you're looking for kind of a smooth rose vanilla citrus that is very, very sophisticated and very, very elegant, those two qualities in this fragrance are those... Fragrances that are elegant and sophisticated are very hard to find nowadays. This fragrance has them. Unfortunately for the House of Guerlain, many of their new fragrances have gone very synthetic and very modern, and I'm not a big fan of them. But this one is a remarkable fragrance, and if you're going to get an older formulation, you're going to have to pay likely a pretty penny, especially where I am in Canada, the prices are becoming outrageous. For if you like a little bit of also the vintage feel, this could be for you. Always try before you buy if you can if you can get a sample of it. I have not tried the square bottle, the most recent uh, reformulation or the most recent packaging. So I cannot comment on that one. But I would imagine at worst it would be maybe a little bit of a watered down version of this truly magnificent and sensational fragrance. I give this one four thumbs up, my thumbs on my fists, and 
my toe thumbs as well. So if you like this video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, any comments or questions you have on this glorious fragrance from the House of Guerlain, leave them down below and I'll always get back to you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.